Hey guys, it's Dr. Melanie here, and today let's dive into a truth we all struggle with, the constant battle against the clock. Time, that elusive commodity, seems especially scarce when we are juggling the demands of training our beloved dogs. We are fueled by passion and commitment, but let's face it, if only these training sessions didn't eat up so much of our day. Now, let me set the stage with an important reality check. There is no magical shortcut for achieving flawless recall, turning anxiety into calmness, or mastering obedience in your preferred dog sport. However, and this is where it gets exciting, there are several new science-based strategies that can dramatically streamline your process. These aren't just tips, they are game changers designed to keep you from feeling like you're running endlessly on a hamster wheel. In this video, I'm thrilled to share with you my top five non-negotiable neuroscience facts for optimal training. They're practical, actionable insights that you can implement right away, no matter where you are. And trust me, my number one fact might just catch you off guard. So stay tuned, keep watching, and let's embark on this journey in 2024 together. Your dog training experience is about to get a whole lot smarter. Number five, alertness. Here's a fundamental truth about learning. It's all about the brain's ability to change. When we talk about your dog learning new tricks or behaviors, we are not talking about the creation of new neurons. Instead, it's about the rewiring and reshaping of existing neural connections. But here's the catch. Changing these neural pathways isn't a walk in the park. The brain, by its very nature, prefers to save energy and stick to familiar patterns. It's somewhat reluctant to break old habits and forge new connections. To kickstart learning in your dog's brain, you need to engage it to spark it into action. This is where arousal or activation plays a pivotal role. It's the switch that turns the brain from a state of rest to a state of dynamic change. That's what we call neuroplasticity. This process is crucial. It involves the disconnecting and reconnecting of neurons, forging new memories, and consequently, new behaviors. Now, let's talk about the best activator for your dog's brain, adrenaline. It's important to ensure your dog is alert and mentally prepared before diving into a training session. There's a widespread myth that dogs need to be as calm as possible for optimal learning. But this isn't entirely true. Calmness is often linked to serotonin, the hormone that makes you content with what you have. When serotonin levels are high, your dog is likely in a no work state of mind, complacent and unmotivated to embrace change, a state that's far from ideal for learning. That is also why anxiety medication at high levels will make behavior training much, much harder. On the other hand, an overly aroused state can also hinder the learning process due to the lack of focus. And this brings me to the next point of our discussion, number four, attention. Have you ever thought about why your dog's focus is so crucial for effective learning? It's not just about getting their eyes on you or the task. It's about the underlying mechanism that makes learning possible. The key player here is a neurotransmitter named acetylcholine. While the name might not stick with you, its function is what's important. Acetylcholine acts like a spotlight, illuminating the specific aspect of an experience or task that needs to be learned. This focused attention is what guides the brain's neural rewiring process. For better or worse, it's crucial to be aware of what your dog is focusing on because that's precisely what they're learning. So how can you influence your dog's focus? It often starts with visual attention, where your dog looks their mental effort follows. Let's take a common training scenario. You command your dog to sit while using a hand gesture. If your dog is visually fixated on your hand movement, they'll associate the sit behavior with that gesture rather than the verbal command. This is why sometimes dogs struggle to obey verbal commands without the hand cues. Their focus has been trained on the visual cue, not the auditory one. In the early stages of behavior modification training, Leech reactivity, for example, it's really important to control what your dog focuses on. If they fixate on a trigger too soon, 
you might inadvertently reinforce unwanted associations or old habits. This is why some of the popular training methods like behavior adjustment training bad can sometimes backfire. However, just like you can train your biceps at the gym, you can train your dog's attentional engagement. The key is to start this training early well before it becomes crucial in more complex or challenging situations. On to number three, rest. Alertness and intention are the cornerstones of effective learning. But the ultimate aim of any training is to embed new behaviors as long-term memories. This reduces the effort required for your dog to perform these behaviors over time. Memory formation is a complex process, but it's essential to understand that it typically unfolds in two distinct phases. Phase one involves the actual practice and execution of actions associated with the new behavior. This is the part most dog owners are familiar with, the training sessions where you teach and reinforce new commands or behaviors. However, it's phase two that it's often overlooked, yet it's equally crucial. This phase is all about consolidation. The process where new neural connections are strengthened and solidified, transitioning from being stored in the hippocampus to the neocortex. Interestingly, this consolidation phase predominantly occurs outside of active training sessions, primarily during periods of rest or sleep. The role of high quality rest and sleep and learning cannot be overstated. Environments where dogs are deprived of peaceful rest, such as shelters, hoarding situations, or puppy mills, significantly impede their ability to learn effectively. In these settings, dogs often struggle to reach the deep rest necessary for memory consumption consolidation. This is why training programs for shelter dogs that focus solely on basic obedience might not be as effective as hope. These dogs are less likely to retain the information taught in such stressful environments. Instead, incorporating physical exercises and activities that build mental resilience can be far more effective in providing a foundation for learning and memory formation in a more supportive setting. Let's move to number two, repetition. Understanding the nuances of repetition is crucial in dog training. It's not just about the number of repetitions, but how you execute them that makes a difference in your dog's learning process. During your training sessions, aim for a series of clean, concise repetitions in a relatively short time frame. This approach helps your dog's brain efficiently process and understand the new behavior. Rapid and clean repetitions maintain your dog's focus on the task and minimize distractions and other unrelated inputs. Remember, focusing requires a significant amount of mental energy, both for you and your dog. Therefore, it's vital to keep training sessions brief but effective. This ensures that your dog's attention remains sharp and their learning is optimized. Group training sessions, while popular, often present a challenge. They typically last about an hour and can be slower paced, but can make it tough for your dog and yourself to achieve high quality repetitions. The presence of other dogs and various stimuli can lead to distractions, which can then dilute the effective of the learning process. Now let's dive into the number one neuroscience secret that can revolutionize your dog training. Making mistakes. The brain's relationship with making mistakes is fascinating and incredibly beneficial in dog training. Embracing mistakes as a powerful learning tool can significantly enhance your dog's training experience. When a dog makes an error during the learning phase, it sets up what's known as a reward contingency gap. This concept is crucial for understanding how your dog's brain reacts and learns from mistakes. Imagine this scenario. Your dog performs a behavior anticipating a reward which causes a surge in dopamine levels, the neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward anticipation. Then, if a mistake happens and you withhold the expected reward, the dopamine levels drop. This gap between expectation and reality creates a slight discomfort for your dog. Not pain, but a sense of confusion or surprise. Your dog is likely thinking, what? Where's my 
my reward. This discrepancy is a trigger for the brain. It activates neural circuits that boost attention and focus. This heightened attention is exactly what we aim for in training. It could mean the difference between a dog merely jumping and a dog leaping with more precision, maintaining a higher head position, doing a focused heel, or exhibiting better impulse control. The beauty of this process is its simplicity. You don't need to explicitly explain the mistake to your dog. Instead, your dog's brain works it out on its own. All you have to do is allow for these mistakes, communicate them effectively, and watch as your dog's learning accelerates. This is the magic of neuroscience and dog training, leveraging the brain's natural processes to enhance learning in a gentle and effective way. But don't forget to approach your training sessions with a sense of fun and curiosity and observe the improvements in your dog's learning process. So if you're intrigued and want to dive deeper into the fascinating intersection of neuroscience and dog training, check out my newly released program, Never Alone Accelerated. You'll find the link in the captions below. And that wraps up our session for today. I'm Dr. Melanie, and I will see you very soon.